Well, I found uh, what is a pretty amazing world, in all honesty, and we've got the bestest boy right here. Of course, I had to sit down and record something here because we got a nice fire. We got a nice atmosphere. The only thing with this world is it's it's massive, and I don't think you should come here with friends because you probably will lag out. I'm not lagging right now, but if you had other people in here, you probably would lag out quite crazy. This is a fantasy-based world, and they've got everything from World of Warcraft in here to Lord of the Rings to to Star Trek. It's absolutely insane the amount of assets they've put into one world. And, you know, when you first enter it and they have the the Beyond Misty Mountain playing in, in the background, of course, I have the music muted because I think a lot of that is copyrighted. And uh, it, it's not something that you see every day. I had to pull up a seat on the floor just to just to sit with the fire or get our bestest boy in here as well. This is some of the things I've seen is just absolutely insane. And this is, this is a world by the artist is TC pool. And I'm not entirely sure where everything goes. You know, I can sit here, I can lift my feet up and show you some of the beans, but this world is something that you need to see. If you haven't visited around and taken the time to actually go to some worlds, do so it's well worth the uh, well worth the visit on things like this one the world in all honesty it's not something you see every day i haven't seen anything this oriented in a long time so attack tc is the guy's card game that he's got out there you can pick up a dwarven hammer swing it around you know you get the actual bonks stuff like that and it doesn't even show up there but if i can pull it out you can see it here of course to drop that down there can i pick up the hat oh i can pick up the hat i wish the hat. we can pick up a hat but of course i can't just wear it on here because it doesn't show up like that it's definitely something to see these worlds that are out there look look we got a little little furry creature down here we got a little furry creature and he says hi <laughs> people with spell casting i this is pretty intense we got to wait for the uh you gotta wait for the elevator to come down, and when you take this up, you you're greeted with this little gnome on the uh, on the elevator. Like, this is not something you see every day. And I gotta say, it's it's pretty amazing to see how detail oriented some of these worlds really get. This one's a big world. Uh, this is probably one of the biggest ones that I've gone into where I'm not lagging like crazy. And I wouldn't suggest bringing a lot of people here. One, two, maybe, and. <laughs> When you, when you get out here, you see a Star Trek ship, I think. I think that's supposed to be one of the Romulan ships, if I remember. You see a dragon flying in the sky. You see an airship flying around. And you see dragon heads. And we got cannons being fired off. It's... This is, this is something else. A lot of World of Warcraft characters in here. Can I actually get on the flying carpet? I can get on the flying carpet. We can go for a flight. Like this, this is something you don't see. This is the setup that I have to do. But yeah, like we get to sit there among the world and just experience it. You know, this is a little disorienting. I'm not going to lie. Like what What am I seeing down there? Is that like Ireland or something? Like, I, I, I have no clue. You've got what looks like a real world map out in the distance this is crazy thunder bluff grew from world of warcraft it's i haven't seen anything like this this i i'm still being taken away by everything everything that i do in vr chat and the amount of detail that goes into these worlds is absolutely incredible i i wouldn't trade this like holy cow this is the love of gaming, the love of the craft. This, honestly, is where a person wants to be when they have a passion for something like this. Gamers, all the gamers out there, if you're not into, into VR chat, just even sit there on a PC and figure things out, you're, you're missing out. Like, wow, is this ever crazy. You don't need a VR headset to experience stuff like this. You can run it just fine on a PC and it does very well. Um, but hey, I'm on a Quest 3. That's a big step. The Quest 2 couldn't handle these things in the, in the past. The 3 can. And 
to see things like this, to see the world, the, the mountains, to see the ranges in a fantasy land. Wow. What more can a person ask for at this point? What more can you do? I gotta say thank you. Like, TC Pool, this, you've put together an amazing world here. It seems fairly optimized. I, I'm not lagging out like I do in some of these worlds. So this is, this is a, a, absolutely insane. Watching the dragon fly around nonstop. Like, being able to have creatures and airships and stuff like that, being able to have your movement on a flying carpet, being able just to stand in a world and, and just have the world explode and do everything around you. This isn't a normal everyday thing you see in a world. And I mean, this is absolutely insane. Anyway, you guys need to experience this for yourselves. Go find TC Pool and say thank you. Because this, this world is crazy. I'm going to leave it there. Anyway, I am your proud Canadian Phoenix in the shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And experience new things. Stay motivated. Do something more. And just enjoy life. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great day.